you know, Scott started going out door knocking in our neighborhood to meet more people when he first got into real estate. Um, and then actually door knock the neighborhood, I think three or four times the whole neighborhood. And there's, you know, now there's 650 ish houses at the time when we moved in here, there was about 450. Um, but the, you know, really, I think our big thing, how it really all started and took off. Um, I was working at the time I'm getting ready to go on, get on a flight. And Scott's like, Hey, I'm going to go up to Garver's and buy a bunch of pumpkins and put them in our front yard and offer for the kids to come and pick them up. And I was like, Oh, okay, whatever. So I get on the, I get on the plane, get off in Milwaukee. It's so on like, you know, on the, on the flight for an hour and a half or two hours and get off the plane. And my phone is blowing up with Facebook notifications. Oh, we must have had like five or 10 people come get a pumpkin, put their kids in the pumpkin patch, take a picture, post it to, to our neighborhood Facebook group and tag us in it. And I was like, Oh my goodness. I had no idea that was going to happen. Um, but it really started, you know, a great tradition. We do that every year in both of our farm areas. Um, we have this neighborhood and then also trails of shaker run that we farm as well. Um, and then just started doing more, um, you know, finding more opportunities to do, to interact with the community. Um, you know, we're on, you know, we do Kona ice truck. We do, um, you know, the coffee truck in the winter time. We do the pumpkins. We do, we have an Easter bunny and the flags. We do treat bags. We do flags at 4th of July um, throughout the whole neighborhood, um, both of them. And, you know, doing that and then also really being the neighborhood expert on real estate. Um, so that was really, you know, like, on the neighborhood Facebook page, if somebody needs a painter or, you know, somebody to do a deck in their backyard or for whatever reason, garage door problems are a big issue, <laughs> you know, so if they need somebody to repair or look at the garage door, you know, we're trying to keep an eye on that and, you know, chime in with who we have that, you know, that we are trusted partners with. Um, so I think we've really worked hard over the last few years to really position ourselves as the local real estate experts for our neighborhood. 